What's going on YouTube? Got a couple hours of free time, so I'm out here messing around with this uh, rear end again. Uh, about to break this side down. Get rid of all that, um, the drums, brakes, and all that stuff, back and plate. Pull the ram off. Um, I'm just gonna tear all this stuff off. And, you know, mount the mount the um corvette calibers and brackets along with the um the little conversion bracket i got from online I'm about to get ready to pull this mess off got all that stuff pulled off now uh took me a while to get this little thing go the little boat that goes through this uh this big hole up top. Took me about 10 minutes to get that one off. Uh, but it came out easy. That side, I had to cut it off. Let's see where I cut that boat. But yeah. Got all that drum and brake hardware off. Uh, Remove this backing plate. But at first, I'm gonna pull the axle out. I already got the pin removed. Well, uh, returning boat. So, right now, about to pull the axle out, move the back and plate, and, and start marking up that side with the um, bracket and caliper. All right, y'all, I got the axle pulled out. Um, sitting over there. Got the back and plate pulled off. I broke both bolts. Uh, you know, they've been in there forever. Both of the bolts holding the back and plate on. Broke those, so I had to... Uh, you know, drill through it, drill it out. I'm gonna put some other little bolts through there with a nut on the back. Um, I got one on that side I need to drill out as well. But um, now it's time to mount these brackets here. We'll get ready to put the, uh, the caliper bracket on there. Um, I'm gonna put this one here facing the rear. It can go either way. With these brackets, you can, you know, put it on this way for the rear. You flip it on, flip it around that way to mount the uh, caliper facing the front. I got that one facing the front. I don't know which way I want to uh, mount them yet, so I'm gonna put that one towards the front, put this one towards the rear, and once I get the rear end bolted in and everything, see which way I like it, and you know, just swap the other one around. Won't be too hard. But uh, yeah, right now I'm about to get ready to mount these. And, uh, you know, move on. All right, y'all. Coming back, I got the uh, caliper bracket mounted and bolted on. Uh, I'm missing one bolt down here, but I'll get that in in a second. Uh, I was getting ready to mount the caliper bracket, but then I thought about a step that I forgot to do when I was doing the driver's side. So, um, these are two of the exact same uh, brackets that mount the caliper onto the to the rear end. Um, they look the same, but I got a little little minor difference on them. This is the factory C5 bracket. This is the one I altered. If you can look here, this one has a a bit more metal here on this section, and on this one, that metal was removed on both ends. And the reason for that is because uh, once I got everything bolted on, I forgot to do this uh, bracket to trim it down. And once I got everything bolted on, the rotor rotor was rubbed against the bracket a little bit. So trimming that metal brings the bracket back, which centers it here. And you know, you won't have that rub going on. But uh, yeah. I got these knocked out. I'm getting ready to mount this one on to this side. And what I did to remove the metal, um, I just used my little Craftsman uh, sander here, whatever it is. Uh, you know, turned it on, flipped it upside down. I know that's not how it's supposed to be used, but hey, that's what I had in the garage. Got to get it done. And you know, turned it on and just 
set it on and just boy, grinded it on down and got it all nice and flush. So yeah, got those knocked out and ready to mount.